Good morning, yogis. I'm going to take you through a 10 minute morning yoga stretch to help you feel your best. This is also day 20 of the 30 day morning yoga challenge. So two thirds of the way done. Those of you who've been participating since day one, if you are brand new here and you're not familiar with the morning yoga movement, you can click that first link that's down below in the description box to join and sign up for yourself. It's completely free. It's just 10 minutes of yoga every morning for 30 days. So this practice, we're going to feel our best. We work with the affirmation. We're going to start laying down on our bellies. And the affirmation we're working with today is one of my all time favorite ones. And just get yourself into Sphinx pose first. So forearms on the mat, fingertips spreading wide, open up through your heart, through your chest. And you can internally repeat, I am unique and it is my greatest strength. I am unique and it is my greatest strength. And just feel a nice opening through your heart as you roll your shoulders back. So a great pose to do first thing in the morning after hopefully a long night's rest. Take one more big, full, deep breath here and we're going to lower down coming into a laying chest opener so you can reach your right arm out to the side with the elbow bent at roughly a 90 degree angle and just roll onto your right hip right shoulder and right ear so stretching into that right shoulder the pectorals and down the right arm you can push your left hand into the floor and stay with some slow steady breaths and this affirmation is used to help us set the tone for the rest of the day. I am unique and it is my greatest strength. Take one more full deep breath in the stretch and straighten your legs. We'll go right away to the other side. So extend your left arm out this time, bending the elbow, palm is flat to the floor. Roll onto your left hip, left shoulder, and left ear. Right hand can keep pushing into the ground. Take one more big inhale through your nose. Exhale to release and roll back here onto your belly and just press back. Taking a variation of child's pose. So just come up onto your fingertips and press and stretch out. So your hips will probably not be touching your heels. This is fine. We're really just trying to get some length through the arms, through the spine. And let's find our downward facing dog. Palms shoulder width distance apart, feet are hip width distance apart. And go ahead and lift your hips up and back. And maybe paddle out the feet a little bit, making some gentle movements, waking up the legs. And start to walk your feet forward to the top of the mat. Keep a bend in your knees here and we're going to take a stretch that goes into the IT band, so the sides of the legs. So with your knees bent, you can just cross your right ankle behind your left one and walk your hands over to the left side of your mat as you push out into your right hip. See if you can keep your right leg straight and bend into your left knee. So this might be really intense. I know for me, it's one of the most intense stretches that I can do, but it's a great way to get a boost of energy in the morning. And bring your hands back to center. We'll just go right away to the other side. So cross your left ankle behind the right one. Walk your hands to the right this time. So maybe your left leg is straight and your right knee bends as you push out into your left hip. Big inhale here. 
Come all the way back to center. And now from here, bend your knees even more and toe heel your feet out so that your feet are just as wide as your mat. So you want it wider than your hips. Bend into your knees until you can get your chest, your spine parallel to the floor and your thighs parallel to the floor. So this is different from a chair pose. This is your bear pose. And you might stay here with fingertips on the floor. You can make this harder by reaching your arms out to the sides or even more challenging with your arms reaching up overhead. So we are not here forever. You're going to feel your thighs start to burn, squeeze through your glutes. Take one more full big breath and fold and release. Bend your knees and roll all the way up to stand inch by inch, rolling your shoulders down and away from your ears. And let's bring the feet back in towards one another. So feet hip width distance apart, standing at the top of the mat, we're gonna come into our tree pose. Lean on your right leg and bring your left foot somewhere along the inside of that leg. So maybe the toes stay down if you want more support or you can lift it up. So see if you can push that left knee open and hug the legs in towards one another. Once you're feeling stable, hands can come to the heart. I'm really focusing on this affirmation. I am unique and it is my greatest strength. As you inhale, you're going to circle your arms all the way up and exhale to trace them down to the center. Two more like this. Inhale and exhale. Last one. Try not to dig your toes into the floor. Exhale to release and let's come back into that bear pose, widen your feet, bend the knees, send your hips back, chest parallel to the floor, either fingertips down or maybe the arms reach out to the sides or you can always extend your arms up overhead. Try to draw the lower belly in towards your lower back. So hips and chest at the same height, one more breath and fold it down, roll all the way up, inch by inch. And we'll come into tree pose on our second side, bring your feet in, lean on your left leg this time, bring the right foot somewhere along the inside of the leg, wherever is appropriate. Think of squeezing that knee open and really push your thigh into the foot as well. Start with the hands at your heart, and once you're feeling stable, add in the arm circles. Inhale, rising up, and exhale, bringing it down. So your inhale is expansive, and the exhale is grounding. Last one, inhale, and exhale and go ahead and release shake it out from here go ahead and open up your legs wide and we're going to start in a warrior two stance so you can turn your left toes forward first to the top of the mat and start to bend into your left knee as you push that knee open a little wider reaching out long through your arms sink down through your hips now keep your legs exactly as they are bring your hands down to your hips and see if you can fold directly to the middle in between both legs and maybe sink and go a little deeper into it if you'd like to add on you're going to bring your left hand to your thigh and push into that knee it's a really big stretch here one more big breath and go ahead and straighten the left leg, turn the toes in, forward fold, walk the hands back, relax your neck, relax your head. Let's walk the hands forward, bring your palms to your hips, push your feet into the floor, come all the way up and we'll do that to the other side right away. So turn your right toes pointing to the back of the mat, bend into your right knee, squeeze it open and extend out through your arms. So finding some stability here in your warrior two. And we'll open up the hips even further. 
hands in and lower all the way down without changing your legs. And you might just hang out and stay where you are or you can go further by using your right hand to push that knee open. Getting lower into this pose, no tension in your shoulders. Let's straighten the right leg, turn the right foot in, forward fold again, walk the hands back. Roll your shoulders away from the floor. Walk your hands forward. And this time, instead of coming up, you're just going to toe heel your feet in. We'll lower into our squats, heels in, toes out. Come on down, hands at your heart, open up through your chest. And last little opening here, focusing more on shoulders. You can extend your left hand out in a diagonal as far as it can go, and then right arm opens up to the sky. Try not to let your right knee buckle in, squeeze it open. Big breath in here as you rotate and release. We'll go to the other side, right hand out, left arm up. And let's bring it in and release all the way down. Let's open our legs into a straddle. Last fold before we close our practice, just go all the way down. And don't worry here about how far you are or aren't going in this pose. This is just an opportunity to stretch out through the backs of the legs and into the lower back. I am unique and it is my greatest strength. Let's press, walk the hands in. And before coming to take a seat, it might just feel good, letting your knees drop side to side, releasing the low back. And sitting up tall any way that is comfortable. Join your hands at your heart and really feel this intention and the affirmation land within you. Hopefully you'll remind yourself of it a few times throughout the day. I am unique and it is my greatest strength. Cleansing breath, inhale. <sighs> Bowing forward, namaste. Thank you so much, yogis, for doing this 10-minute morning yoga practice with me. Leave me a comment below. Let me know how it went. And remember to use the hashtag good morning so I know you're part of the morning yoga movement. And hopefully, I'll practice again with you tomorrow morning you are not done yet. I would love for you to click on this video right here to do a five minute guided affirmation meditation. Also click the link down below right here in order to be notified of every new video that I release part of this morning yoga movement. Thank you again and I'll see you tomorrow.